Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator. Well, kinda. I'm not really gonna check anything out in today's episode except this new Easter egg called Vaporwave Mode, and it actually looks pretty dope. I mean, the sun's here, the trees turn into palm trees, right? They weren't palm trees before, they were just regular trees, but now they're palm trees, yeah! <laughs> I mean, yeah, this is vaporwave mode. You guys might have seen these in, like, YouTube music videos and stuff like that. But yeah, guys, people have been wondering if I even like the game still because I don't really play the game anymore, and it's really quite simple. What? Ha, huh, caught you red-handed. Let's see what the council has to say about this. I couldn't even see you, you one-eyed eye patch freak. I didn't even know what I was doing. I was trying to talk to you guys, and I just instinctively grabbed the knife. That's how long I've been playing this game. I just grabbed the knife, fool, because I thought that's what I was supposed to do. It should be obvious why you're here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and now there's no more music. I can hear myself running, though. Awkwardly running. That's cool, I guess. Super quiet. I could probably hear a silent fart come out of somebody's butt cheeks. It's so quiet, but you know what? I kind of like it like this. It's kind of peaceful in a way. But yeah, guys, a lot of people have been asking me if I still enjoy playing Yandere Simulator or making videos on it because I don't upload it as much as I used to. And the answer is simple. Back then, I could do so many different things and they were unique to me. Like, I was curious about some of the things that you guys wanted me to do in the game, but I feel like I've done so many things that the questions that you guys have or the things you want me to try are things that I've already tried in the past. So there's no new content for me to do. And the thing with me is, is I love playing games where I don't really know what's going on. I like doing things because I enjoy it, not because I have to upload a video on a game that's like a popular series on the channel. But I'm making a video on it now because people are asking me if I still enjoy it. And I was like, you know what? That could actually be a good thing to talk about because I never really talk about the game outside of playing it. So let's take a look at these blog posts because this is where I keep an eye on the game the most. I always check the yanderydevwordpress.com and the latest post is a January 5th bug fixing build. So he's just talking about like some fan-made stuff that he's got going on here. So let's click continue reading. And then yeah, more fan-made stuff. And then, you know, the latest bug fixing build and additions. I showed you guys the vaporwave Easter egg mode right here at the bottom. Most of these are just like bug fixes so he can polish up the game more. So when the demo comes out, everything's pretty much as smooth as my balls. And that's what everybody wants. But yeah, the point of me showing you guys this whole thing is that there's nothing really new for me to try. So why would I make a video on that? The final stage of Osana's development. Usually I try to avoid these like update vlogs or whatever. So when I actually play the game, I don't know anything about it and I can be surprised. But I'm actually going to go through this video a little bit in this episode just so we can kind of be on the same page and I kind of know what's going on. But yeah, there's a crossover announcement poll for Yandere Simulator. And then before that, it was like a Christmas theme video. And then a December 21st bug fixing build that I don't think had anything new. Let me see. From the debug menu, you can now press the F key to spawn a green screen room near the hedge maze. Wait, let me try that. Okay, I think this is it. So let's press F. That's not it. Oh, there it is. That big ass giant green bubble. That's the green screen room. Let's get it, boy. Okay. So, we just stand in front of this thing, and then we can make a bunch of thumbnails for YouTubers. That's actually dope. Why does it seem like I can't get out of here? Ah! I'm getting claustrophobic! How do I get out of this green shit? Um, hello? I need a little help here. I have no idea what direction I came in. What is happening? What is happening? Oh, and we can shift through some colors, so let's press Z. Ooh, ah, <laughs> okay, let me stop. But yeah, other than that, guys, there's just like bug fixes and like hair physics and fix the bug that would prevent a red death skull from appearing over the portrait of a dead student. Things like that. Like little things that make the gameplay a little bit better. And then the post before that was a character popularity ranking and then a December 15th progress build. And then before that is the Yandere Simulator 2014 prototype, which was actually the last Yandere Simulator video that I made. So it was probably around December 5th was the last time I played Yandere Simulator. But that video got demonetized for some reason, so I actually had to take it down. So yeah, that was pretty much the last time I played Yandere Simulator. And then before that was a December 4th bug fixing build. Then a December 1st bug fixing build. Then a November 24th bug fixing build. So basically, guys, I'm just waiting for Osana for your mama. And that's why we're going to check out this Osana development report right now. And I guess I'm just going to give you guys my genuine opinion on the topic for anybody that seems to care. So let's do it. I've got good news about Osana. Yay. At this point in time, Osana is functionally complete. 
I cannot wait to start playing with Osana in the game. How long have we been waiting for that? Like two years, maybe three? I think two years. And, I'm and now we got Rybaru's punk ass right behind her all the time. To make sure so that that's going to be fun. Properly before she is released. As I test each method. Wait, what's the quality on this? Why does it look butt cheek? 72060? Really? That's 72060? That's 144 up my pee pee hole. I'm fixing every bug, exploit, or janky looking thing that I find. I'm also making a lot of slight changes to the game so that it won't be confusing for newcomers who are going to be playing it for the first time when the demo finally releases. Okay, that makes sense. I'll elaborate on what this process Whoa, entails. whoa, whoa. What was that? What was that? What was that? So you can go to the counselor and slowly get Osana expelled. May I see your phone for a moment? What is this? Would you care to explain why something like this is on your phone? Oh, this is kind of like that thing that we did to Kakoni um, in her locker on Thursdays. I think we could have taken a picture of something and then put it in Kakona's phone. Elaborate and then now we're going to use it for Osana. Things. Because Kakona was supposed to be like a little placeholder for Osana. So it all makes sense. It's difficult to say precisely how long this stage of Osana's development will last. It's very abstract. Sometimes I will test a feature and find nothing wrong. And other times I will discover serious game design flaws or exploits that take a few days to fix. Hey, I'm just saying, I think that Yandere Dev should release the build with Osana. Obviously, we're all going to find like little exploit, glitches, bugs, things of that nature. But we're all basically one big group of like game testers. We could help him out. And then once the demo comes out, then everything's pretty much going to be spick and span. But you know what? I'm just speaking from a fan's perspective. I'm not trying to speak from like a YouTuber perspective. But I think that if you have a following that's this big, that is that committed to knowing what you can do and can't do in the game, and then they find all these bugs and glitches and exploits, I think that's going to help Yandere Dev out way more than him doing it by himself. But like I said, I'm just a fan of the game. I'm not speaking as like a YouTuber that happens to play this game and, you know, wants to play this game because obviously I want to play this game, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, like I said, that's just my opinion. Let's continue. I have also been spending my time finalizing the cuts scenes that play after Osana has been eliminated. Wait, wait, why are those cupcakes censored? Do they look like fat tits with a nipple on top? Why are they censored? I'm really proud of these cutscenes. Is that Sin Daddy with hot pink pants? With you. What's up, my but guy? I think it would be better to let you experience them within the game instead Info of John. spoiling them with a YouTube video. Good evening, sir. Thank you very much for setting aside the time to take this call. I know that you're a busy man. Obviously, we know who that is because we know whose office that is. That is the, um, what's his name? He's the four-eyed freak with the big-ass belly. I forgot his name. He's the dude with, like, the samurai sword inside of his office. Damn it, is he, like, the principal or something? It's very tempting to rush Osana out the door because I feel guilty for making you wait so long. However, the last thing I should do is release Osana. That's in a definitely buggy, something I would come across playing the game. I just guarantee. Makes everyone feel disappointed. I should mention that even after Osana is 100% complete, I won't release her immediately. Damn it. I want Yandere Simulator's official demo to feel like a big improvement over the debug sandbox. I really do wonder what the demo is going to look like because I feel like as it is, if somebody's completely new to the game and they see this as a demo, they're going to be like, oh, damn, this thing is dope. I would love to play more of this if it was a full game. But if you completely change it, I wonder how different it's going to actually look. When you play the official demo, I want you to feel like you're actually playing a slice of the finished game. Is it just me or do people not really like that town effect? I don't know. I'm not really the biggest fan of the town effect. Yeah, it looks pretty and sparkly and almost like you're in a dream. But I prefer the old school, rugged, nasty look to it like we've all known to come in love since like 2014. To achieve this goal... I want the official demo to have a new look and feel that sets it apart from the debug sandbox. Okay. I want to upgrade to the latest version of Unity, Ooh. revamp the title Ooo. screen, update Those the trees UI, kinda turn me on a little add bit. new post-processing effects, and just give the game a oh, fresh coat that of is actually in general. Dope. This is Hold on, that is actually sick! Look, we got like the lifeline thing right here. Visibly armed, visibly bloody, visibly insane. We got a whole freaking map on the bottom left. That makes the nip nips hard. We have like a task thing right there. Steal answer sheet from faculty room. And then on the right, it said that the police are coming. So you know, like, bam, you got to get moving, buddy, because the police are coming. Move it, soldier, move it. Kidnap checklist. 
got the tranquilizer. You even got biology increased scratched off. That is actually sick. I actually am down for this right here. I want this right now, ASAP. There is also one other feature that I want to implement before releasing Osana. Ooh. Something that I've deliberately Ooh. avoided mentioning in any of oh. my videos. Oh. Oh. It's something I've been planning since 2014. <laughs> and Osana is just what I think it is? wouldn't be complete without it. Oh, is it what I think it is? I mean, come on, we're all thinking the same thing here. Like, if it's not what we think it is, the thing that we've been waiting for for a long time, I say we take the streets and riot. And sometimes I realize that people might think that I actually want us to take the streets and riot. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. We're, we're not really going to take the streets and riot. We can do it in our minds, but don't actually go on the street and definitely don't riot. Well, like I said, guys, I just play what I love. I'm not going to make a video on something for no reason. And I feel like there was a reason to make this video because people are asking me if I still do enjoy playing the game. And the answer is, of course I do. I can't wait to figure out what's going to happen next with this game. I wish Osana was in the game right now, but you know what? We all just got to trust the process. We just got to let Yandere Deb do what he got to do. And if we like it, we like it. If we don't, we don't. And we just got to live with the results. But I do have one question for you guys. I want you to tell me what you think snap mode is going to be all about. The most obvious answer would be like you can get up after you fall down at the game over screen and just go berserk on everybody. Maybe Yanchan has like superhuman strength and she could just go ape shit until the police arrive or something. I think that's what's going to happen basically. But let me know what you guys think is going to happen with snap mode in the comments down below. But if you can't wait for me to play the new updates of Yandere Simulator in the future, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!